Y'all, I'm finna pull up in this new Kia Nero hybrid. Stop playing with the kid that did, you dig? Come on, man. Y'all see what I'm riding in? Stop playing with me. Come on now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, ski. Pull up on the key, ayy, pull up when you dig, y'all. Y'all, what's good? Your boy didn't cop the Kia Nero, bro. Hybrid. I know y'all probably like, hybrid, what are you talking about? I know the key is. A hybrid is an electric and gas car. What it is, I didn't upgrade it on y'all boys. Come on now. Y'all, I finally had to get me a new car. Let me give y'all a background story real quick. If y'all don't know, my first car I ever bought was a van for $2,000. Well, I used to be 10 deep with the dancers and we used to just be driving all around Dallas, Texas. You feel what I'm saying? Finally, when I beat that car up, it was time to, you know what I'm saying, get a regular car, but still have a big car, you know? So I got me an SUV Jeep. You feel what I'm saying? A Grand Cherokee. When I copped the SUV Jeep Grand Cherokee, it was $5,000. Well, I rode that thing to the to the windows fell off that sucker. Matter of fact, the last time that I got it checked out, them suckers say it was at a flight risk because I didn't drove that sucker so much, man. That boy needed a fibrillator, a transmission, and who knows what on that car. So finally, I was like, you know what? It's time to upgrade to another car. Do you dig what I'm saying? I didn't finally really upgrade it with cars because I had a big decision. Did I want a four door? Did I want an SUV? Did I want another van? You feel what I'm saying? And I almost went with the four door situation until I seen this baby right here. It was a small SUV, not really even small because it's still spacious inside, but it was an SUV instead of a four door. And at the last second, this was the last dealership that I went to. This is after me going to Chevrolet, going to Auto Nation, going to Kia, man, going to Vandegrift. Going to, you know, basically Ford, man, and not seeing the car that I wanted. And then at the last second, seeing this bad baby right here. If y'all know me, I don't care about the looks or the style of a car. Long as it can get me from point A to point B. I just want that sucker rolling and consistently rolling without having to repair it. I don't care what it looks like. Long as it can get me to where I need to go. This was the baby for me. And I'm going to tell y'all why in a second. If y'all notice, I keep going up on the prices of these cars and I keep getting better and better cars until I just finally get that dream car like a Tesla or some, you know, expensive car or whatever, if I ever do that. But I do want a Tesla in the future. But this car itself cost me $15,000. So I went from a $2,000 van to a $5,000 SUV Jeep to a Kia Nero hybrid SUV for $15,000. Yes, your boys just came out of 15 racks, you hear me? 15, you hear me? For this car, I financed it. So this is going to be my first time ever doing a car note. I'm a cash person. I like to buy cash cars. I like to give you your $5,000, $6,000, and I don't want to talk to you anymore. This was the first time that I had to sit down, try to get it financed through the bank thing, try to get it financed through the car lot, and actually do the finance and stuff. Before I tell y'all about the car, though, let me show y'all the outside and inside visual of the car real quick. Like I said, it's a Kia Nero hybrid, which means it's electric and gas, you dig? Come on, man. And it's literally like, bro, perfect size for me, bro. It's not a big SUV, but it's big enough, you feel what I'm saying, to not be affordable. You feel what I mean? And it's just beautiful. I can't lie, bro. It's beautiful. I love the color. Um, I wasn't even looking for style. This just added more style to it. I just like that the car actually runs good. It's the, probably the best car I ever had. But yeah, that's that's the visual of the outside. Y'all, this is a quick glimpse of the inside. Um, disregard these covers. These, these from my old SUV Jeep. I just put them on there until I buy new custom ones. But the material on the actual seats are beautiful. You got the car play, the TV, you feel what I'm saying? And then even peep this, it's push to start so you know we on. The car is on, I cannot make this up. It's literally on, you can't even tell that it turned on. That's how lit it is, watch this. 
you can't even hear the car. It seems like the car's in park, right? It just seems like it's in park. Insane to me. Let me turn that off. But y'all see how quiet the car is itself. It like you feel like you're in an airplane. Back seat, same way, man. Disregard the car seats. These are my old car seats that were in my Jeep. Then the trunk is so spacious. I can put these down if I want to. I have a big old back seat. Basically, if I want to store anything back here, it's very spacious. Other than me not showing y'all the seats, y'all get the feel of what's going on. Now it's time to do a little bit of science and learn about this car. You know what I'm saying? Now that all the fun is done showing y'all the car, let me tell y'all about the car. So first things first, it's a Kia Nero hybrid. I know y'all probably confused on what hybrid is, and I'll say it again. All it means is that it's electric and gas car. So it uses electric and gas, which means it's good on fuel efficiency. What does fuel efficiency mean? That just means gas is not being used like your regular gas car, and that I'm saving so much money on gas, particularly. This is why I love this car the most and why it's fit for me and what I do. But some quick pointers I want to tell y'all real quick that is so fascinating about this car is that I was on E, right? I filled my car up and it literally cost me $29 to fill up. And my other Jeep, $60 to $70 easily. Gas over here is about three something per gallon. This car does about 52 miles per gallon. I don't know if y'all know that, but people that do cars know 52 miles per gallon. Fuel efficiency to the outmost. Like I said, if y'all don't know what fuel efficiency is, it's basically you saving, you saving on gas, basically, in perspective to people that don't know what that means. It means that what you would use on gas is way half that. Matter of fact, less than half that. I'm paying... $29 for a full tank on E. $29. Do you know how much money I'm saving? Everybody else is paying $60 plus on their car. I'm paying $29. That's why I love hybrid. I love any car. If I get a car in the future, it needs to say hybrid on it. Because I drive so much. If you don't drive too much, then cool. You should need a gas car. But for me, I need a hybrid or electrical car, bro. The only reason why I don't go the electrical route just yet is because I don't like the rechargers and I don't like how people say that it's supposed to last for 30 minutes and then it only lasts for 15 minutes. And then when it's cold outside, you run into more problems and stuff like that. So I'm trying to wait till they fix that issue and then they got more rechargeable batteries in like every street, everywhere you go. It's literally a pump everywhere you go. I'm waiting till that. There's more locations of it, which they're already evolving that. But back on topic. This sucker doing 52 miles per gallon. $29. Stop playing with me, man. That's my favorite thing about this car, bro. That's why I'm so geeked up right now, bro. I only got to pay $29 for gas, bro. Half a tank probably going to be $15. Y'all understand what's going on? I put $5 in my, in my tank, and I, and, I, and I didn't already put my tank back up already. I said, man. I really evolved with cars. I never thought it would come to this moment where I evolved. I thought I was going to keep buying used cars. Um, This car note is going to be the best thing I ever paid for. I, I enjoy paying this car note. You feel what I'm saying? And it's a low amount because my credit score was 803. So y'all already know that that car note was low. Low boy. If y'all don't know, I drive everywhere. I pick up this dancer. I drop off that dancer. I go to this place this day. The next day, I'm at this place. I'm running back and forth every single day on the highway, nonstop, wasting gas, and literally using my engine. And it's the reason why all my used cars end up getting beat up. The engine transmission goes because I am using it every single day. I believe even in the future, I will always get a hybrid type of car unless it's a Tesla, which is full straight electric. But I will stay in the hybrid category instead of gas because I use my car so much that I'm using so much on the gas in the engine that my car not going to last and I'm going to come out of more money than what I would do if I had it a hybrid. So let's explain hybrid real quick. So let me explain how this works. When I push the gas pedal, I'm using my engine. I'm using the gas that's actually in the car, right? When I push the brake, it recharges itself and I'm using electric mode. So when I'm holding on the brake, every time I push the brake or every time I had a red light, stop light, every time that I got to stop because the car is in front of me, my car is recharging. Now, what happens is 
while my card is recharging, when I finally do push the gas, it's going to use that recharge that I used pushing the brake through all the brakes that I did previously. It's going to use all that charge before it ever touches the gas pedal engine, before it uses any gas, basically. Let me put it in more perspective to you. So before I use any gas at my car, it's going to immediately use all that electrical power that I've been doing when I've been pushing the brake, which in return saves me gas because I'm not using any gas and I'm, I'm only losing the electrical part. Now, if I just slam on the gas very hard, like vroom, 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 which I shouldn't be doing that, but just say that I just pushed on the gas very, very hard. Then at that mode, it will skip electric mode for about five seconds and go to engine gas mode and actually use your engine because it needs power now. And electrical is only so powerful. It is just never more powerful than the actual um, uh, engine, of course. Come on, but there's so many horsepowers in an engine. So at that point, for five seconds, it's going to use the engine gas. And then it's going to switch right back to electrical to use all the charge that you have been doing previously with the brakes. So it's going to go right back. So you barely even use any. So even though that I want to go vroom vroom with my car, I'm barely even using any gas. Because five seconds later, it's going to go right back to electrical and I'm saving my gas. And when I'm saying gas, I'm talking about the actual gas that you got to pay for. You're saving that. Plus, I'm saving my engine from getting run. That's the main thing. I don't have to beat my engine up this time. I can conserve it as long as possible. Y'all, I cannot stress this enough how badly I just wanted a car that just got me to point A to point B. I did not care what it looked like. I was worried about low maintenance, low miles on the car, and just getting me to point A to point B. And when I tell you this got all that plus it's stylish and it got color, I was just looking for a black or white color car. This sucker, like, I don't know, ocean blue. Bro, I said, oh my gosh, this is the one. When I got in the car and drove it and test drive it, I literally felt like I was in an airplane, like I was just hovering over the streets. Like I was like, bro, this is insane. I didn't even realize I was in drive. When I pushed the car to start, I didn't even hear it start. I thought I was in park still. I started driving and I realized like, bro, this car is literally driving on its own. Like you can really tell that it's electrical. Um, And then I love the fact that they made this car to still look like a gas car, but it's electric. I love that part. So instead of making it look like it's an electric car because it's hybrid and making it all, you know, weird looking and what's it, they make it look like your standard SUV car that you see. If somebody saw my car right now, you would just think, oh, he has a regular SUV car, Kia. No, it's a, literally a hybrid. You get what I'm saying? It, 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 I feel like when, when I even looked at reviews, they even said they made this car specifically for people that still wanted that modern day look of a car instead of it, that new, you know, fancy electric car look. And that's me. I want to look like I got a regular gas car. So don't nobody steal nothing from my car. Don't think that it's electric, thinking that it's, it's finessable. I don't want you looking at my car. I don't want you what's saying. I want you to compliment it and say, boy, that's a nice car. And keep it, keep it pushing. I don't even want the fanciness. I don't want style. I don't want none of that. That's going, when I come back to my car the next morning, all four tires is off my car. <laughs> or y'all didn't took a Cadillac converter out of my car or something. But long story short, the Kia is spacious. It's tinted windows. Oh my gosh, stuff that I had, everything that I had on my other Jeep is on this on this car right here. Um, The AC is hitting still. I love the AC, man. Oh my gosh, I didn't have AC in my other car. I personally went two years without AC, so in my other car. So to have AC now and having it blasting is, oh my gosh, the biggest thrill ever. The whole point of me even getting a new car would stem down to my phone was getting hot because I wasn't using AC. So my phone kept saying temperature too hot in the car because the car that I was in is so humid, so hot that I had realized I had to get my AC fix in there. I finally realized, bro, I've been needing AC for the longest. The only reason why I even got a new car is literally because my AC in the other car broke down and I found out my car was in flight risk. I can't make this up. And me saying that my car's a flight risk means that the car could go bad on me, could go down on me at any moment. That's all that means. I love this car, man. It has the, the car play that I need for my map quest stuff. So I can get, you know what I'm saying, to where I need to be. It got multiple chargers, way better than my other one. The ports actually work. Buttons actually work. Um, just a whole new feel, bro. And I'm just, I'm just happy that I'm at this like stage of life where I'm literally upgrading higher and higher every time. Like I said, I went to a van, to an SUV, to now a Kia Nero hybrid. I'm getting an electric gas car. I remember before I bought it, 
I said, man, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to get this hybrid. Because I wasn't even going to get hybrid at first. I thought it was high maintenance until I did my research. And you rarely run into, like, those high maintenance problems in electrical type cars in general. You don't even run into it. They got to be crazy malfunctions. But, nah, that'll conclude this video, man. Um, I appreciate anybody that watched my old videos and my old car videos from a long time ago and seen me be able to buy a new finance car, bro. Oh, it's a blessing. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm rolling on these streets, bro. bro. So good on the highway. So good on the road, man. And I'm just so happy that I have a good car that fits me. And then it's still stylish. I didn't even want stylish. But you know what? Two for one. We got a good car that run good and it look good. Come on. Now I'm feeling good. Man, it's a W, man. I wake up ready to drive. Ready to pick up anybody I got to pick up or do whatever I got to do. I'm telling you, it gives you a whole new motivation, a whole new momentum. I'm thriving. Um, I hope I enjoyed this video. Um, I got a lot more in store with videos. Just stay tuned, man. I need to get back on my grind, of course. But uh, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all next time. You dig?